Good morning, everyone. Hot Docs, we are the global leaders in document, document automation software. Today, we're going to show you how you can use our products to eradicate the compliance risk involved with your corporate documentation, whether that's internal or customer facing. We can do that at the same time as dramatically improving the efficiency with that, how that documentation is produced. How do we do this? The first thing is we provide the tools, your policy, your documentation teams need to mark up the business rules that govern which clauses, pre-approved wordings, make its way into your customer and internal documentation. The second thing, we provide the user interfaces that allow your, your customers, your relationship managers, the people who are producing documents to interact with the content, a question and answer flow, guiding the users how, what data to enter to produce the documents. And that document, the data entered into that interview is combined with the original business rules to produce 100% compliant, 100% accurate, very, very efficiently drafted documentation every time. So how is this used in the real world in finance? So role play, Stephen here, let's imagine he's a relationship manager in a global bank. Demands from customers, demands from colleagues, please get that documentation ready for me now. How does he do it? He takes a Word document, perhaps from a file share. He cuts and pastes from other documents, last year's contracts. He phones the documentation teams who are under pressure, dra frantically trying to get these documents together. It's inevitable that errors creep in. We are told by our customers eight or nine errors on average in every first draft. If these errors are not caught, a lack of rep a reputation risk from the customer, a worst case scenario, some kind of a compliance error resulting in financial penalties. But now, Stephen, relationship manager, has access to hot docs. What's the new process look like? Well, he might receive an email from a colleague or a customer or some other system. There's a, ne a link in that email that takes him to this page. He enters a document reference that's probably pre-populated even by a back-end system. Next, he goes to what we call the hot docs interview. Now, this is the really clever part. This interview, it displays questions, intuitive questions that the, the RM can respond to. There's an interview outline that gives an indication how far he is through the process. Now, the key thing is, this interview hasn't been generated by the IT department. No technical developer, precious resource, overhead has been involved with this. This comes from the content defined by the very people, the policy experts, that understand the implications of poorly drafted documentation. Notice how the interview is interactive. It guides the RM through the, through the process. Notice as well it was pre-populated. Of course we pre-populate from CRM. No point retyping data. And here we have a document pre you any point you can check what the documents going to look like now once the information has been entered into the interview the RM says I'm ready clicks the finish button the data is then taken back to our engine which combines the data with the business rules the policy expert defined in the first place and within seconds we have a 17 18,000 word document every paragraph every material fact in there accurate the formatting we work in multiple languages globally so anyway, that's fantastic. Great efficiency drive, great compliance. But how do you create that content? So let's imagine changing roles now for a moment. No longer Steve, and we're going to John. John is in the core documentation team. Those people who are responsible for defining and validating those clauses, authorizing them before they go out to the front line. There's been a change in legislation. He can open up the template. He can change the wording. He can change the rules. He can change how the template works. And notice, he's doing this in a word processor. No need to learn XML or other, some other tech. He does it completely independently. The business is in direct control of what the RMs and relationship managers, the content that's being used here. He publishes that content, right click, uploads it to our content management system. Content management system has version control, forward publishing, so you can, you can publish a new document to this, this content management system for a future date. Everything you'd expect. It even has APIs so that your own applications within your business can discover the content, understand what fields are in there and how they're used. So back to Stephen, back in the front line, demands from customers coming in to get this documentation ready. The business is 100% confident that the template that is using to drive this interactive interview is fully authorized and fully up to date and compliant with the latest legislation. And there, the next document has appeared. So what have we seen? We've seen questionnaires 
electronic ones on the web here that have been, that been con defined by policy experts rather than IT. We see documents, 17,000 word documents being produced in seconds. We've seen the process by which those templates are updated. This technology works. Don't take my word for it. This technology is already being used in several of the largest financial institutions worldwide. There's a large bank in North America that produces nearly half a million credit and corporate lending documents per month using this software. There's a bank in the UK where 90% of all their corporate lending goes through this software. We know this works, and we can help you implement. Behind all this, we have a series of APIs so that you can integrate. We have content management, uh, as, as I've shown you earlier on. That there are RESTful interfaces, user management, single sign-on, Active Directory integration, OAuth 2 authentic authorization on the APIs. We have cloud APIs and cloud services. We have on-premise, every service, stateless, RESTful, perfect for large enterprise, highly scalable environments. So we're behind the stairs next door. Thank you, Benavate. Um, come and see us, talk to us, and we'll help you out with all your documentation, compliance, and efficiency issues. Thank you very much for listening.